Stop what you're doing right now, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing, just stop real quick. Even if you're having sex with a girl right now, and you're on top of her, and for some weird reason, you just decided to get on YouTube and watch my videos. I'm glad you did, because this is going to be a lot better than what you're doing with her. Because as soon as you're done with her, she's gonna get on her phone and hit up the next guy. So now that you have stopped doing what you're doing, ask yourself this question. What do I bring in a relationship? What value do I bring slash should I bring to a relationship? Long-term relationship, marriage, whatever you want to call it. The list is going to start off with, first of all, money slash financial stability. Security, protection, um, the ability to work a blue collar job if for some reason you get laid off from your white collar job by that what I really mean is you need to be able to adjust into new environments and to just hop onto another job for the time being if that time needs to come you need to man up everybody says you're a man you gotta man up you gotta suck it up the ability to suck it up whatever it is in life that you need to suck it up at that moment even with pain what else do you need to bring to the table uh, good physique uh, somebody who's in good shape somebody who's fit all of these things attract a girl you need all of these things to have a decent quality good quality high quality whatever you want to call it type of girl <clears throat> the ability to pay for your child's future pay for everything in your family again goes back to the financial stability now ask yourself what should a woman bring to your life what value should she bring what value should she have to give you okay the list should start at looks very very important probably the first important most important thing in any relationship is the guy have to be attracted to the girl right the girl also has to, the girl also has to be attracted to the guy but we all know that the reason why men like women are not the same reasons why women like men right we all know that second you have cooking the ability to cook clean raise the kids pretty much be be a overall good housewife and last but not least not be a HOE okay you can argue with me till your face turns blue on this but this is what a high value high quality man wants out of a woman keyword is man not a kid not a beta male simp what's a simp you can look it up on your own time a high quality high value man wants these things from his woman my channel is obviously geared towards men to become the best of best version of himself. So obviously I'm going I'm going to be here talking about high value men's needs, wants, lifestyle so that each and every single of you out there watching this video can transform your life into that. So you know what to expect out of life and not what society is telling you you should want or not not what that girl is telling you what you should want okay now these are the things that are expected this is this, these are the thing what she should bring to the table these are the values she should have but what does she have what is she bringing in today's society in today's day and age your average girl that you see in the west and 99 percent of these girls have these quote-unquote qualities that I'm about to list the things that are bringing now instead of the things they should bring first of all these are a college degree okay which nobody cares about no guy cares about that when have you ever heard a man again keyword man just because you have 
a pipe in between your legs and a sack of balls and a pipe that pretty much dictates the wor worst decisions you make when you see a pretty girl, right? That's the reason why you can't think with this head when you see a pretty girl. You make the most horrible decisions. Just because you have them between your legs does not mean you're a man. It takes a lot more than that. So a man, a true man, Notice I didn't say that this man has to have a white color job. He can't be a blue collar worker. He can't have this and that. Uh, that's another video topic. What makes you a man? I'm not gonna talk about that on this one. He doesn't care about a woman's college degree. When have you ever heard a man say, oh, I'm so turned on by your college degree, baby. I can't wait till I get back home and do the nastiest and dirtiest things to you that I've been thinking about all day. When have you ever heard that? Never. Second, a bad attitude. She's gonna sit there and list off to you what you should have. What, what, are, what are some of the things you should bring to the, to the table? You can see that on her Instagram profile, sorry, on her dating profile all day long. Has to be six feet tall. Has to have a six pack abs. Has to have six figure income. Has to have a six inch, you know what. All the sixes. She's gonna first of all list all those things to you and then she's gonna list the things she's not going to do, which are the exact same things we just discussed that she should do. Be a housewife, not be an HOE. Not go out in girls nights out with her girlfriends. And you already know what happens when girls go out with gr in girls nights out. Do not ever accept girls nights out with, from your girl. When she tells you that, drop her immediately. If you say no and she says she starts arguing, drop her immediately. There's no exception to that rule. No girls nights out. No, not accepting it. Bad attitude. Everything has to be her way. She has to have the power in the relationship. She's gonna tell you what are you not doing for her, how she's not happy with you. She's gonna try to manip she's gonna have try to she's gonna try to wear the pants in the relationship. That's what I mean by bad 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 attitude. The need for attention, number three. She got to have the Instagram of an Instagram thought, of an Instagram IG of an IG model, where she's posing, showing her rear end in every single picture, almost every single picture, in her bikinis, showing her cleavage. And she got to have that those amount of likes doesn't matter if she's responding to the DMs or to the comments by the thirsty guys but she got to have it if you tell her you can't have an Instagram if you tell her you can't be posting these kind of pictures <laughs> just watch and see what happens what else does she what else does she bring in now a high body count a high body count for a man is not the same thing for a woman another video topic I'll tell you why it's not the same thing tell me guys do you really want to be with a girl who's been whose body has been used up and ran through more times than the Holland Tunnel <laughs> I got that from coach Greg Adams I gotta give him credit for that do you really want to be with somebody an individual like that no you don't that's just disgusting if you ask me again none of my videos and my channel or my channel is geared towards hating women it's not talking down on women women are the victim if you want to blame anything or anybody is going to be feminism this is the unintended consequences of feminism that women are being able to go out and have sex with whoever they want without any consequences. You really think this is how it used to be? No. From the time of uh, being able to vote till now. This is where it has come. This is where feminism ha have brought everything. They have given women this much power. That's why she always wants to crave power in the relationship. She always got to wear the pants in the relationship. She doesn't even know how to cook anymore because she was never taught. No, I'm not talking about scrambled eggs and 
mac and cheese. Even that, <laughs> I dated this girl. She didn't even know how to scramble some eggs. <laughs> women are the victim of feminism. Don't, don't hate women. I'm not here to tell you to hate women. I'm here to show you what, how women are using feminism in their advantage so you can look out for these signs and ignore and avoid these girls, these 99% of girls when it comes to long-term relationships and slash or marriages. For short-term and medium-term relationships, they're the perfect fit. They want to have that high body count. They want to experience more. That's why they say that I'm here for the experience. I had my fun, now I'm ready to settle down. I wanna have fun. What do you think fun means? <laughs> so, they're the victim of this, but they don't know that yet. They're gonna know that when they turn 30, 35, 40, and they're not gonna find a good man because all a good man, quote unquote, the smart man, smart men, they know not to pick these type of women. At least the 18 year old hasn't been ran through as much as a 35 year old. At least she has more time to give from her body. Because the quick, the more you age, obviously your body's gonna drop. Your body's not gonna be as, as tight anymore. It's not gonna be as hot anymore. It's not gonna be as pleasant anymore. The reason why I bring up body every single time when it comes to women, because guys, who are you kidding if you tell me that that is not the first thing you want in a woman? Who are you kidding, guys? You're not, you're, you can sit here and write me a five paragraph long comment on my comment section saying how wrong I am. But who are you kidding? If you're a woman who's disagreeing with me, I'm not even gonna look at your comment. I'm not gonna even read that. Do you know why? Because you don't know what a man wants. You're not a man. There hasn't been a single time where an actual alpha male, an actual man came on my channel or, my, or, or on my Instagram page and argued about any of this I'm saying, that I've been saying. Because they know this is the truth. That's why they're not going to argue with this. Only times guys who argue with this, beta male simps. Those are the only type of guys who I see. I just go through their Instagram page, see a couple of pictures, they have no ambitions, no drive, nothing in their life. Now, why are these girls bringing these things to the table instead of the things that they should be? It's because of feminism. This is what they're taught that they are supposed to be doing. They're taught to be masculine. And that real masculinity is now toxic. But femininity isn't, even though femininity is exactly what femininity is trying to do the exact same thing masculinity does. But it's not toxic. Why? Because a woman is doing it now. That's why it's not toxic. Even though she's trying to do the exact same thing a man was doing. When the man was doing it, it's toxic. But not, no, not anymore. This is, that's why they don't learn how to cook. That's why they don't learn how to clean. Instead, they learn how to go to college, take 50, 60, $100,000 of student loan, and go through college, have the experience and the fun. You know what that means every weekend. You know what they do when they go out. And come out at the end, come out with a liberal arts degree. With a dance degree with a history degree, social studies degree, completely useless, and spend the rest of their life either paying it off, the student loans, and living off of cat food. Again, that's also from Coach Greg Adams. Great guy, check his channel out. I'll try to put a link of, the, of his channel's description, of link of his, uh, of his channel in the description below. That's it. That's all they're bringing to the table. No feminine behavior, instead feminist behavior. So now I want you to ask yourself after watching and seeing all this, what does she even have to offer? 
the only best thing that she had was her body and even that's used up by now told i talked about this in my in my one of my other videos is she worth your time by the time she turns 20 21 her body count is easily over 10 10 15. are you telling me that's somebody who you want to invest your time and your money and your energy with just ask yourself that guys before you make an approach not before you make an approach if you approach with the intention of just hooking up with her and making a rotation of roster of girls that's perfectly fine you can approach whoever you want that's fine with me but if you approach with an intention that i'm looking for a girlfriend i'm looking for a like a long-term relationship or even a marriage god forbids why just ask yourself that that question if you're thinking about Hitting her up again after she told you, I don't know, maybe we'll see after you ask her out the first time and she gave you an answer like that. And then if you're thinking about hitting her up again the next week, the following week, if you're thinking about thinking about taking her out to a fancy dinner date as your first date or fancy drinks place instead of something really cheap like dirt cheap ice cream or coffee or Little Caesars pizza, if you're thinking about just if you're just thinking about her throughout the day what is she doing what is what has she been up to ask yourself this what does she even have to offer and the answer is nothing nothing compared to you you are the prize man do not ever let anybody tell you otherwise they're not the prize anymore if they were virgins, if they knew how to cook clean, raise the kids, keep the family nice, tidy and together, maybe I would have considered them as piece of the prize. But even then, you are the prize. You are the one who's breaking the bread. Yeah, you can tell me that females are making more money now in job fields, corporate fields, corporations. But do you look at their debt to income ratio look what they're doing with their money they don't have a future vision they can't invest or start a business they live paycheck to paycheck they use that money to buy a dodge charger dodge challenger fancy cars purses dresses shoes they just blow this money what does she have to even offer Hope this video made sense. Like, comment, subscribe, share to the channel. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.